It's okay. I'll fix it. Start another one. Not a big deal, buddy. Our sticker bombing is coming along very nicely, huh? So, the Dragon Ball ones, we had, we just put on there. The Mario ones, and the Fortnite ones. Normally a little bit of Fortnite ones, but um, yeah, those ones we already put it on, but then we just put on the Dragon Ball ones. So far, so good on our sticker bomb collection, though. I have started to write a video about my uh, inability to function for a week because of poor time management. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that my schedule is just so wonky and so last minute sometimes. Um, but that's what it is. But uh, you know the deal. This guy. Always putting in work. recently like the wife the boy and I uh, but mine most recently and uh, every year uh, my grandmother used to make me a spice cake with cream cheese frosting and the tradition has remained since she's passed my lovely wife has continued that tradition and she makes sure that I get a spice cake every year for my birthday and I think that's really special and really sweet um, even more fun to add to the mix uh, you know the boy making the cake too and he did a great job. It was delicious. We crushed that cake. And by we, I mean, I crushed that cake. You got it. birthday. Thank you. I'm gonna buy a new hat. I don't know. It's a real nice hat. Mr. 
you. It's two two. What's today? And your birthday. What are we doing? Anything fun? Yeah. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go to the New York Beer Project. Sure are. Eat some good food? Yeah. And maybe I'll get some good presents. Yeah. Maybe I'll get some dookie presents too. Because anything that's not from you is probably dookie, right? <laughs> Alright. Well, obviously from Mama too. Alright, let's go. Bye bye. I just got one of my birthday presents. It's a craft brew. I'm gonna tell you about it. It's an orange chocolate blonde ale. It's combining two two local businesses. Alicaville is a local brewery. It's about an hour and a half away from us. And there's a local chocolate company called Platters. They make chocolate. It's fantastic. And they combined their products. To make a special beer. I'm a fan of another, like, there's a couple things like this. Like, our region is known for a drink called Loganberry. It's hard to find elsewhere. It's pretty delicious. And there's another brewery called Resurgence. And they have a Loganberry Whit beer that I'm a huge fan of. Regardless, I'm real excited about this. Because I'm, you know, I could use a couple beers. Always. <laughs> Birthday. So, not everybody's here yet. But we're still opening. But we still, we still gotta open it right now because you're about to have a kitten, right? Yeah. All right, Mama. She's such an angel. Really? Hi, Katie. We're opening this Owen. Owen. Yep. The Do you know how many teeth he had to lose to get yeah. that? No. <laughs> Holy cow. Hold on. Let's get a knife over here. I got a knife over here. You have to My boy made sure to get me the best present ever. Samsung Galaxy Watch. That's right. If we haven't talked about it, we should talk about it. I'm a Samsung dude. I'm not going to crap all over Apple users. I just think that they're inferior products. That's good stuff. Go there. You're fun. You're playing games. Yeah, it's like sweet, like holy cream. Watch your finger. Well, you're gonna cut that. Okay, we fix it out. Let's make a good wish. Hey. Woo! We'll share that one. Yeah. I'm so full. All right, let's grab a fork. I like this place. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It turns out perfect. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. 
I don't like ginger. Oh, you can eat that one? I'll eat the Star Wars this Jedi logo one. Yeah. Yeah. I brought my gimbal in. some of it. It isn't like the other one that moves. Getting a couple of scrap pieces of wood for what? For our shelves. Our shelves and the dude's down? Yeah. There's a, a mill around the corner from us and they put out scrap scraps. And you can grab them so we need a shelf for our dude's den. So we're grabbing some wood to make a shelf. Pretty sweet idea. Yeah. The sweetest. All right, dude, let's get some more. Woke up, told myself to push and never stop. I've been stressed out, watching both these hands around the clock. With my eyes wide, trying to get the panorama shot. Whole world getting blurry to me, answers getting lost. So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front. And remember that the world's yours, do it how you want. Waiting here for too long Think it's time for you to move on Realize that there's real lies And these real times will be strong I've been waiting all my life And it was right before my eyes Watching all this time slip by Now I realize You know I've been waiting I stay in a positive space And I take the the pros for most things. I just try and like reflect on things with a, a positive outlook. You know, when things happen, it's like, oh, well, you know what? At least this. Um, you know, well, unfortunately that had to happen, but at least this. Or the good thing is this. Um, our hot water tank blew unexpectedly. And I didn't have any, well, at least this from that. That was mostly frustration. And I think that that kind of caught me off guard because it's not something that, that I've been able to approach with that that disposition that I can always just kind of come out of it go, you know what, this was tough, but at least this. Because there's so many things that you're happy to do and happy to be a part of, but there are a lot of things that's like, well, at least this happened. You know, take some of the positive and just being happy, having a happy mindset, you know, something I think is taught. Um, but there are moments where it's like, mm, you got me. How water tank blowing up unexpectedly, it got me. Standing in my kitchen, I heard, And I heard water. And I could smell gas. I didn't know what it was. I was worried something happened with a furnace or a lime blue. I went downstairs and that's what happened. Was the cast iron uh, tank that the water gets heated in had cracked. So the water was leaking down. And it uh, put out the pilot light. And the gas had built up, built up, built up. And once it ignited, it blew the side off of the hot water tank. So then it was leaking even more. So then we had to drain it and replace it. I don't know where to go with that, you know what I mean? 
No, my hot water tank exploded. So there's that. Draining it. That's my life. I can't, I can't catch a break. Mildly depressing. And by mildly, I mean severely depressing. Uh. I've been waiting for